Oh, you guys remember her, <laughs> right? <laughs> hey, camera. But uh, you know, oh, oh, you gotta, you can't, can't forget about uh, my baby here. You know, like I don't want, I'm not just a uh, tool. <risa> Uno, eh, dos, tres Cálmate eh. ah. vale. Cálmate, Isaac eh. <risa> hey, on three. One, two, three eh. Eh. <risa> eh. Mm. A ver, a ver, a ver No, 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 no. Oh man. yeah, oh yeah, that's going in there. Ahora <laughs> salud. Mm. <laughs> okay, we're done eating. No, we're, we're done eating. <laughs> Here are the top three reasons why you should leave America, part two. Number one, American cities are too expensive. Whether it's rent, groceries, utilities, whatever. You are spending too much in order to simply live than you would if you were to go to another place in the world. Number two, America is a culture that only cares about money. When a culture hyperfixates itself on money, it devalues truth. It devalues ethics and morals. Now, this isn't to say that the rest of the world is this perfect place with sunshine and rainbows all the time in this regard, but being in different cultures, Bali being one of those places where the prime primary value of the families here is not money, but something deeper than that, you feel a difference and it has effect on your psyche and makes you want to be a better person as a result. And reason number three, America does not value the truth. This is true at every level of our society at this point. It's true at the level of government. It's true at the level of business. It is true at the level of individual to individual. Think about how many romantic relationships or friendships you've been a part of where each party, probably even yourself, is willing to lie to one another in order to get what you want. So consider leaving that system altogether, not permanently, not for Forever. You're not going to renounce your U.S. citizenship, but try taking some time outside of the pressure cooker to get some perspective on life. Because I can guarantee you, when you return to the country, you will be in a better place to be able to help the society than if you remain within the sickness it's currently creating. What up, y'all? These are three countries that will pay to move there. All right, y'all, we got number three here, a place called Abin in Switzerland. They have a declining population and they will pay $25,000 to move here. You have to be a new resident to move here and they will give you $10,000 per child. But you do have to be under 45 years old and maintain residency for at least 10 years. But look at that view. Coming in at number two, we got Sicily, Italy. This place also has a declining population because a lot of the residents moves to bigger cities. So to increase population, the government is offering new residents rundown homes for about one euro. Now. They do cost about $20,000 to renovate, but with a view like that, I don't know, it might be worth it. 
And coming at number one, you got Antikythera, Greece. This place has a population of less than 50 people. Moving here will get you your own piece of land and $600 for three years. Follow me to learn more. And I'm actually just a regular guy. I had the same job in the US my entire life. Worked there for 28 years. And one day I woke up and decided I wasn't happy. Wasn't happy with my job. I wasn't happy with my life. I wasn't happy with the city I was living in. And I wasn't happy with the way the country was going. And so I decided that I did not want to do it anymore. So I quit my job, sold my beautiful house that I had. I had an amazing house that I sold. I also sold everything that I had except for what I could fit into two suitcases. I am currently traveling in Thailand and I have to say I like it here so far. I could rent a condo by the beach with an ocean view for $280 a month here in Pattaya and Bangkok doesn't have a beach. Uh, in the US, living by the ocean, really unless you have a lot of money, is not even possible. And so when I found out I could have a condo by the beach uh, for $280 a month, I couldn't pass it up. And so that's what I did. In that video, I did promise you that I would give you a tour of my new $280 a month condo with an ocean view. And so without wasting any more time, enjoy the tour. All right, guys, as you can see, the condo is called Cozy Beach View Condos here in Pattaya. And this is just a quick street view. This is the 14th floor. This is, again, the pool area and the recreation area. So I will show you the pool area first over here to the left. As we walk over here, you can see we have an amazing view. Look at this ocean view. Is this not amazing? With the water from the pool and the water from the ocean. Some showers over there. Just a great area to come and swim and relax. Over here we have some bathrooms. And this looks like a jacuzzi, but it's not. It's just a higher pool area where you can sit. And there is a little waterfall here, which is kind of cool. We'll walk over here to this right side and you can see this is actually the side that my condo is at. So this is kind of the view that I see out of my condo, which I'll show you when we get to the condo. But we'll walk around here. This is a jacuzzi, I believe. I believe it has warm water in it. And again, just an amazing view. I really do love this. So we're coming up over here to the right hand side. There is actually a gym with weights and exercise machines where you can get a pretty good workout. So I try to come here about three or four days a week. You can see they got some free weights and some machines. And again, amazing view through this glass where you can sit here on the treadmill exercise machine and just stare at the ocean and stare at the beautiful view. Now on this floor, as I've shown you, they have the pool, they have a gym, they also have a recreation room, they have a jacuzzi and sauna room, as well as a basketball court. They did take down the basketball hoops because I guess there was too much noise from the people playing basketball. So over here, that's actually a kid's playroom, so the kids can play while you're working out in the gym. This would be the sauna and jacuzzi room. Over here on the right, there are saunas where you can walk into. There's another one on the right hand side. And these are the jacuzzis. Look at that view, guys. Again, just beautiful. You can watch the ocean as you're sitting in the jacuzzi. They do have a locker room over there and a bathroom inside here also. The recreation room. 
Now this room is cool because you can come in here and play pool. There's a ping pong table as well as a, I think that's foosball. I forgot what that's called, but foosball, something like that. So this is a nice little room to bring your friends and hang out. All right, so now, you being from Egypt and you being Muslim, if a man did go over there, right, passport bro, he goes, how would he be treated by a woman? Like, is she gonna be going out all the time? She gonna be dressing sexy like over here? Like, is that the same over there? Well, first of all, let's start with how society is there. Like, we don't have, we don't, um, support only fans and stuff like that we don't um support like showing off your body wearing bikinis in the middle of the streets um yeah like it's mainly like woman cooks and cleans and takes care of the house and men goes to work so like a woman wouldn't like so a woman would basically expect you to pay for her stuff of course and we would we would go into dating for marriage not just for fun first of all like like that's the main priority to like date get to know each other get engaged and then get married and then you can have babies and stuff like that um no sexual activities before marriage so you'll know that every woman there, mo like at, like at least most of them are pure. Mm. So that's one pro of going to Egypt. No high body count. Yeah. They, they're pure. So yeah. you're, um, a man's gonna get a woman that basically a virgin. Which is rare over here. What is it? Huh? I say you're right. Ain't yeah, no virgins out here. Why would you want a girl who's been passed around and done this and that? Like you would want a girl that haven't done anything so you can take her out and she can make you look good. You wouldn't want a woman, like you wouldn't want to even be seen with a hoe, right? So when you have a good woman on your side, that's like, that's like, a, like a, it brings up your value too, you know? There you go. That's true, that's true. So you said a good woman brings up a man's value. That, that's definitely correct. How, how how do you feel like she brings a man's value up? Like, because basically, like, nobody would say your girl's a hoe. Yeah. And she she not, makes life easier. Yeah, and she's not seen around. She cooks for you. you. Your mans, when they're with you, they see how she treats you. Like, she nurtures you. Like, when a guy is see, like, when your friends see that, they're going to be like, oh, she's fire for them. Oh, she's like doing this, this and that for him. Oh, like he's mad cool. Like, like it'll, it'll make you feel good as a man. She like, if, if you tell her, oh, go iron this shirt for me. Okay, yeah. Like, go cook for me. Like, she'll do it. Because that's her role. 